Hey guys, Shaybear1000 here. Today we're going to be doing kind of a side by side comparison of these two dash cams. Let's see which one's better. Okay, guys, what we have here is we have the As Seen on TV. Dash Cam Pro. We also have the Black Web, the Black Web Wide Angle Video Dash Cam. All right. Now this one says it's like having a black box for your car, your personal eyewitness on and off the road. Well, I don't know about that. Okay, let's go over a couple things. First of all. This one's set up like this. The screen will flip down like that. Okay, and this, you know, clips onto your windshield. So that's pretty much what you got right there. You got all this. Now you can close that like that, but you got this big thing hanging down. There's a lot of, you know, a lot more. Uh, it creates like a fulcrum. It doesn't stay steady. Because I have used both of these. This one is set up more like an actual camera, okay? Yeah. So you don't have as much vibration. You're going to have some, but you don't have as, you know, you don't have all that sticking out in the back like you do on this. There's the difference in the sizes of them. Okay. This one Right, here's the memory card slot right there. It takes the Micro Mini SD card, which is fine. This one takes a regular sized SD card. Okay. Now, something else on this one. <clears throat> okay. Now, if you look at this, when you. Let's see if it'll power on. All right. There's that. Now, if you go to your menu button, all right, uh, and you know you do your checking and everything, you can't do it all down here. Like if you want to hit, if you want to check your size of your video, there's your OK button, all right. So each time you do something, you got to go back up here and hit your OK button. So okay the battery's going dead but anyway like you know if you want to set up to to uh, turn your sound you know on or off to record audio you got to use your menu down here and then there's your OK button up here this one is all done like a regular camera everything's all right here yeah you know where I'm going with this right now both of these cameras as you can see here, this one was 20 bucks. This one was 20 bucks. This was at Walmart and this was at like a, a flea market where you buy those as seen on TV things. Now I hear you can get these for 15, but we'll we'll cover that later. Okay, here's the uh, user guide instruction manual for the Dash Cam Pro. Okay, it does have quite a bit of information in it. And this is more like a book for the black web. Now, I can tell you right now, this, oops, sorry, this one, it'll say it'll record up to 14 hours endless loop recording, okay? It also says it's full high full high definition 120 degree wide angle. We're going we're going to see about that. Because in the settings which I was going to show you but the battery went dead. Which I was going to show you there's only two settings for that. 720 and VGA and I've tried them both with the same result. 
So this is not this is not a high definition camera. This one, however, will go to 1080p and also down to a few in that are lower than that. But this is a 1080p full high def. It is a wide angle. So now I have noticed on both of these the sound, the audio is okay at first but then like a few seconds in your audio is not synced neither one of these and I, I've, I've been on the internet and a lot of people are having problems with these dash cams not syncing the audio right so sometimes you know you're not going to need the audio but sometimes it'd be nice to have okay now I've got audio on both of these what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a side by side comparison I'm going to do it with raw video footage and I'll let you listen to the sound of them, the audio, the sound quality and then I will video stabilize these because I'll tell you what I had to I had to put these on my chest okay and I'll show you how I did that here in just a minute and you'll see see why this is a lot more versatile you know for 20 bucks now remember these aren't 250 dollar cameras you know I'm, i can't go out and buy a bunch of them i just can't do that i don't have anyone sponsoring me to do that so if you would like to sponsor me a brand new 300 dollar dash cam to review for you i will gladly do that <laughs> but anyway i'll show you what i had to do to put these on my chest and like i said it's just uh this one's just a lot more versatile and I'll, I'll show you that like I said in the two different uh, in the audio and in the video raw and then I'll stabilize both videos and you'll see um, and you'll see the difference in the quality in these two cameras okay what I've done this is a this is a headband part of a headband off of one of those uh, headlamps okay what I did was I strap this around me like this okay I strap that around me like that okay now this one you know hangs like this did pretty good okay I've done this a couple times now alright so I had it I just had it strapped on like that and started recording okay and I took the ride also by the way guys I did I did take this the same road the same path going about the same speed about the same time of day other than like maybe five minutes to change cameras so I tried to get it as equal as possible now this one as you can see with that back part I can't do that with. see because there's the camera so what I had to do is I had to come up with something different so I got one of my hot shoe mounts and I screwed this into here and I had that like that okay then I screwed this part into here So that's got a lot to do with the wobbliness, but I was also, I got to tell you, I was also holding this too. And then I had this up in here like this. So as you can see, it's kind of vibrating. So I had to kind of reach up and hold this while I was riding the bike. So that's how I had to hook this up to where this kind of just strapped on pretty easy for demonstration purposes and whatnot. Now it wouldn't be comfortable to ride, you know, take an hour long ride like this. I would come up with something different. You know, the regular attachments to to attach to you. But that's how I had to do that. Also, these both have video save. That means you can save if there was an accident or something you want to save and you don't want it to loop record over it. Uh, it, it locks that file so it cannot be recorded over this one you have to go into your memories and, or 
into your playback mode you hit the menu and it'll give you the option to save and you gotta click that button then it'll save it this one this button right here let's see if I can see it this button right here whoops sorry it's upside down this button right here it says M and it has a lock okay if you see a crash or something like that and you really want to save that clip all you do is hit that button one time it automatically saves it it locks that file let's go ahead and check out the video footage and the audio quality on both these cameras Okay guys, in conclusion, I think you know which one's the better quality for the low price we're paying for one of these. Because not everybody can go out and, and buy a dash cam, but they're real handy to have. Um, they also, they both have motion detection and all that, so like if somebody walks in front of your car or somebody starts backing up and they back in your car, that motion detection will kick these both on and they will uh, start recording so if somebody backs into you you'll have it and you can set it to record like 10 like a few seconds before it actually kicks on so that's pretty cool um, in conclusion the black web for 20 bucks I think is a great camera to have it's very affordable you know, if you got the money, yeah, go, don't don't spend, don't waste your money on these. If you got the money, go buy you a good one. But if you're on a budget, like most everybody is nowadays, even us, you know, this this is the way to go. This black web camera, I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. Um, like I say, they're having issues with these not syncing up with the audio. This thing is just, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's not worth twenty bucks. I don't even think. Uh, I would give ten dollars for it. Um, it's just the video quality is horrendous. It is horrendous. So, you know, like I said, I, I hear now you, you can get these for around fifteen bucks. I don't know, but so don't quote me on that. I know we gave twenty for this one and twenty for that one. I wouldn't give twenty bucks for it. I wouldn't give fifteen bucks for it. I, <coughs> knowing what I know now, I wouldn't give. Uh, I wouldn't buy this. I would just go straight down to Walmart or whatever carries these, whoever else carries these, the black web, and that's what I would go with is the black web, hands down. Uh, I've seen some uh, video 
reviews on this and it just seems funny to me their their uh, video review of this is like 1080p and it looks real great and real stable and I can understand if it's on a windshield maybe it is going to be more stable but you know like I said side by side I mean this you, you can't put it on your body if you wanted to and take a ride this one you can this one I mean try to strap that onto a helmet you know this one you can so I don't I'm not saying anything bad because I don't have proof but I don't think the footage you're seeing in them videos and I just watched one last night and I'm not gonna say the name of the person that did it but uh, his his video f f I mean was of this camera was awesome he was like yeah I mean it's okay it'll work I don't think it was done with this camera I really don't uh, it just because I mean you know I've used this camera and I know I know what it does his was in full 1080p this no no it's not and it was the same exact the same exact camera so in conclusion this is the better one so if you want to looking for a cheap cam go with the uh, black web uh, like I said I got this at Walmart for 20 bucks stay away from this thing it's just too much hassle and it is not worth it I've got a video on uh, using this uh, monkey caught a, a crash where a cop car actually run into somebody and almost flipped and you can't really see what's going on you get the idea but you really can't see what's going on this one you probably could have so there's my review there's the comparison on the black web dash cam and the dash cam pro so you guys uh, if you're looking for a dash cam you be the judge but for the same price I mean even if this is fifteen dollars now I would pay the extra five and get some decent quality that that does work a little better easier to use and more versatile so guys thanks for watching my videos don't forget to comment rate subscribe share and uh, check out my patreon page I appreciate it, guys Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be safe. Shea Bear, the Myth the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye, guys. So, what I had to do is I had to come up with. So, what I had to strap this around me like this.